everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be showing you guys how to make these awesome Stranger Things stickers. All you need is stuff that you already have at home. So let's go ahead and get right on into the video. All you're going to need is some regular white paper, a pencil, a liner pen. I'm going to be using this Artist Loft pen in 03 and some colors of your choice. I'm using color pencils. These are some of the designs that I have sketched out for you guys. Of course, any design that I use in my videos, you guys are always welcome to use these as free templates and trace them. You guys can go ahead and screenshot this on your phone or wherever you're watching this. Save it to your camera roll so that way you can trace these later in the video. I'm going to be using my iPad as a light box, but of course you can use your cell phone as well. Make sure you turn the lights off and are in a dark area and your brightness is all the way up to make it easier to trace. You're going to place your paper on top of your makeshift light box, which is your phone probably, and you're going to just go ahead and use your pencil and trace. If you don't feel like using your pencil and you want to go right in and use the liner like I am here, you can go ahead and do that too. It speeds up the process and makes it much faster, but of course there's nothing wrong with using using a pencil if you think you're going to make mistakes. I work really hard on these designs for you guys to make these awesome sticker videos, so if you could like the video and subscribe and leave a nice comment, that would mean so much to me. I love reading you guys' comments and seeing what you guys have to say about the DIY. So since some of my designs I traced in pencil, I'm going back in with my liner pen and I'm going right over those markings and making it darker. I'm really curious to know which design is y'all's favorite. We have the Demogorgon. Of course, I had to include Vecna. We have one of those upside down bats. We have the headphones that Max used and we have the bloody skate. So comment down below which one is your fave and which one you are going to be using. Of course, I hope you guys use all of them to make your stickers, but I'm just curious to know. To color the Demogorgon, I colored it using a gradient of colors. So I started by using the darkest color black on the outside edges, and then I went in with a darker red, and then the center is going to be the lightest red. So kind of just creating those like shading effects to make it look like it's popping out or more realistic. Um, same with Vecna over here. I went in and made shadows with my black color pencil. Then I'm adding hints of red here and there, mainly by his eyes and in like like his little tentacle things and then I went in and colored him lightly with a gray color pencil and here with this bat creature I'm not really sure what it's called if you guys know you should let me know because I just call it like the upside down bat but I'm going in and I'm coloring with a light orange or like peachy color for the wings and then I'm creating those shadows with the black color pencil as well and for the skate, I know it doesn't look like the skate from the show. I really wanted to add more color because those were more brown and just kind of like neutral colors. So I wanted to add pop of color. I added some blue and made it a primarily white skate. And for the headphones, I wanted to make them purple. I know the ones Max used were black, but I wanted to add some more color because I felt like everything had a lot of black in it already. Once you're done coloring, you're just going to cut these out. You can leave a white border around them like I am or just cut them out how they are. I'm going to be using some wax paper. It looks like this. It's just really glossy and waxy paper that the stickers can easily peel off of. I'm also going to be using some packaging tape. We're going to lay down our wax paper and put a strip of packaging tape sticky side down on top of it and place our stickers on top of that tape. I'm just going to lay them out evenly so that way each one can be spaced out so that we can have enough room to cut them out. Then you're going to place another strip of packaging tape that is the same length on top of all of your stickers and make sure you cover all of the paper otherwise you will have some parts that are not glossy. The last step is to simply cut out all of your stickers with your scissors. Make sure you leave a border of tape around all of your stickers. This is what's going to make them stick. If you skip this step, your stickers will have nothing to help them be sticky and they're just going to be glossy images. So please use this step so your stickers can work properly the way they're supposed to. And this is what all of our stickers turned out like. They are individual stickers, but of course, if you wanted to, you could create a sticker sheet as well. You can turn your sticker around and peel off the backing of the wax paper and reveal your sticker and stick it wherever you'd like. If you accidentally peel the wax paper off and don't want to use it yet, do not worry. You can always put the wax paper back on the back of the sticker and save it for later or give it as a gift to one of your friends. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could do me a favor and share this with all of your Stranger Things loving friends, that would be amazing. I would love to share the love of stickers and have everyone create these awesome DIYs. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!